Hello friends, welcome to Easy to Explore. Today we will tell you how to call JavaScript alert function using C# -sharp in ASP.NET. For this, we will move to Visual Studio 2017. Create a new project. Choose ASP.NET empty website and rename the project name as web app. Alert JavaScript. Click on OK to create the project. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on your web app. Add new item. Choose web form with background server side scripting language as Visual C Sharp. Rename the web page to alert underscore Java script. Click on add. Now go to the C sharp page of alert underscore javascript page. Create a new function with protected void written type and then function name with argument string message where the string is non-primitive data type and then place this code. In this code, we have script manager class which is a pre-declared and pre-defined class with register startup script function. In this, we have passed current class object this, then current type that is get type. Then within double quotes, we have used show alert which will call alert function and then a JavaScript code that is alert function and we have concatenated the message that will be passed or displayed in the alert box then true true represent the last argument true represent that alert box will be called use control s to save it then go to the javascript page and within div tag add a button double click on it Change the text to call alert create on click event use control s to save then go to javascript page and then again choose control s to save call popup alert function with argument of the message you want to pass. that is call alert box it refers that when this page will be debugged and the button will be clicked call an alert box message will be displayed so now go to javascript page and debug it with google chrome browser now click on call alert and we, you will see the javascript alert box is called so this is how you can use or you can call javascript alert function using c sharp if you like this video please click like button and please subscribe our channel easy to explore in if you want these type of short videos on basic related issues or any issue of asp.net or visual studio 2017 or any visual studio version Please post it in comment section. Thank you.